Welcome and welcome back. Hey, what's up, y'all? We got today another karambit. We're going to let this karambit train keep rolling here. Uh, we have one by a company called Mantis. Um, go ahead and tell us a little something about it. Okay, so this is, like he said, by Mantis. It's called the Kara Fu Karambit. Um, it is made in the USA, actually. You can get it on sale right now at Oso Grande Knives for fifty nine ninety seven. dollars uh, Apparently, original retail price was one thirty four ninety five. dollars Woo! Anyway, moving on. It is made out of NVX stainless steel. We've got the G10 textured handles. Uh, this finger ring is actually, they even say it's larger sized finger ring for to accommodate larger fingers, they say. Your overall blade is 6.25 inches. Your blade length is 2.375. The blade itself is going to come in at 4 ounces with its little sheath. It's only coming in at 4.7 ounces. Wow. Okay, thank you so much for that. You're welcome. All right, yeah, this is a pretty compact karambit here, as you see here. Yeah, just mm -hmm. right, just right above 6 inches. And uh, with the, like she said, with this oversized ring, it puts it above 6 inches. But let's take a little closer look at this to get a hand on it. Mm -hmm. All right, so, yeah, you got that MVX stainless steel. Um, looks like some type of gray coating they put on it. Um, you got the G10 scales right off the bat. I mean, it's very, I would say, I wouldn't say aggressive, but you could definitely feel it. Um, you could feel the grip. It grips back at you. <laughs> just, just enough. It grips back at you just enough with your skin. Um, if you're going to, you know, palm this with bare skin. Um, yeah. Um, the texturing on this G10, I just, it's just, yeah, it's pretty aggressive as you see as what, well. yeah. <laughs> Things catch on it like paper towels. Yeah, can't. <laughs> It'll catch on it. Um, you got the scaling on it. Um, you got the Allen keys. That's pretty cool. Rather than the um, the Torx heads, those little tiny Torx heads, uh, stars, um, they give you the Allen keys uh, there. So that's kind of cool. The though. Allen screws, yeah. Um, let's see this over oversized ring here. Yeah, because they yeah. do say it is oversized. Yeah, right there in diameter. It's about an inch and a quarter. And you, most rings here, I'll show you with the with the other knives I got out here, the other Karambits that... Uh, uh, this ring is a lot bigger, so this is going to work for the those operators out there in cold temperatures or um, with the scaling on it. It's not going to be all metal construction, um, at least on your bare skin. So uh, if you're wearing gloves, is what I'm getting at. Um, that big ring is going to accommodate that, and uh, those those people out there with big fingers, um, as you see here, I have small hands. This is my grip on it, um, and it's just like, actually that grip feels a lot better to me um, with being able to get up against that ring there but that that's not too bad either then that g10 with the, on your skin though you can, you can feel it biting back at you but it's not yeah. too bad yeah but wow it's not too sandpaper. as you can see it in there in my skin yeah i mean it's leaving marks on your skin yeah i mean if you really had to grip that tight in a situation i i can't imagine that it you're going to come away completely unharmed yourself it seems like you're going to get some abrasions on your hand Oh uh, yeah, it, it definitely some uh, some rubbage and some burn and something like, um, but uh, that's a that's a good thing. I, I guess it just with that ring, it's uh really for those people with uh, tough skin, uh -huh. you know, unfortunately, and uh, you bigger know, hands and bigger hands or with gloves. Yeah, um, as you see there, it has some nice contour to it. So uh, you got a you got a thumb ramp there, full tang. It's exposed. You know, the scales are a little shorter. Um, when I when I mean with, with the width, so you can see the tang all the way around. Um. Some jimping on there, not bad at all. Uh, smooth. Yeah, it's smooth enough. Smooth enough. Um, you got that logo on there. It looks like some type of atom symbol almost. Yeah, or some type of galaxy symbol mm -hmm. or something. Some type of explosion. That ring right there, though, I have to do bring up the uh, this this on the cram right there. As you see there, the the edge on this mm -hmm. is actually pretty. I wouldn't say sharp, but it it could definitely be a lot better. This could is probably, be more uh, smoothed out, <clears throat> more rounded off. Definitely. Um, those other ones, these other cheaper, lower um, ones I have, and then this is a Made in America, so, I mean, those ones even offer, like, a, a smoother edge around. Hmm. Uh, even even the ring on here, if you guys can see there, that, that ring, I wouldn't say sharp, but it's it's the sharpest one of all these cramps, even the lower end ones right now. I do have to point that out. Okay. Um, even the ones that cost less, you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, even those Because this, this one r runs about $50, so you, I, I would expect a little bit better fit and finish. 
Yeah, me too. Yeah. Especially since it retails for more. I mean, that, that 50 is sale from what we could find. And I'm sure I could put a pair of wrap on it. I could paracord it to, to soften a lot of that up. So, you know, you could take even, I could even take those scales off. I'm kind of interested to see actually what's under there if it is more <laughs> skeletonized. Because as you see here on the blade, they offer you some type of milling. Yeah. So I wonder if they milled that underneath the scale. I'm just wondering. I, 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 now I, now I got to see. I got to take now those off. going to take it apart. <laughs> um, here, can you take the camera real quick? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Got it. Um, I think one of the, the coolest things about this karambit, uh, what, what, why uh, it, it's, it's unique, is that uh, the grind on this, as you guys see here, this side has a, a, almost a full high flat grind there. Um, yeah. Yeah, flat grind. And, but this side's completely chisel ground. <laughs> yeah, so it's completely, completely, what I mean by that is, here, I got my other one. For ah! anyone that doesn't know what a chisel grind is, it's like, just like this little knife I have here. Um, it's, it's ground on one side, you got the saber grind and it's completely flat. You see that? So if yeah. I, and that's, and this side's completely flat. So if I, if I flatten those like that, mm -hmm. put them together, both flat sides, they're, they're com against, yeah, they they're against one another. completely flat. So that was kind of cool. It has a chisel mm -hmm. grind on it. So I guess, you know, when it comes to sharpening this, I think it would be a lot easier if you just laid that on, you know, on, on a stone and just worked it back and forth. On that flat side and probably sharpen it. Yeah, probably sharpen that right up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that that's that's a a cool unique feature about this. Here, you you take a handle on it and see what you think about it. You got gloves on, so yeah. Well, these are thin gloves. You know, they're just compression gloves. Compression but, because of your nerve damage in your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Nerve damage and arthritis, so it, these help. But um, the finger grooves in the finger being fingerless, you I can feel what, that G10. Yeah, I mean, with my fingers, I can feel it. I would not want to be hand uh, me personally. I wouldn't want to be handling this without these gloves on. Also, I see what you're saying about this. This is not as smooth as I would be expecting for the price, honestly. Oh, wait, weight wise, weight wise, it's not bad. I actually don't don't mind it. I like it. It's light. You know, it's light, but it's not too light in my opinion yeah you know it, it it's you can still tell it's there as opposed to picking it up and going wow is that even a blade <laughs> right yeah this one still feels like a blade but that is a yeah. little bit sharper than i would like it on back on on these parts yeah most definitely yeah. okay so and that g10 is just yeah. aggressive to me so we both agree on that <laughs> yeah yeah, that G10 is pretty aggressive. Yes. Um, it is fairly aggressive. Okay, yeah, so just go ahead and put that here. And then just real quick comparison, I got some of my, the other cramps. I'll put my Fox cramp it out there just to show you guys. Uh, so it's a fairly compact cramp. It, it, yeah, it's about it's the not, size of one of these Fox cramps, if yeah, you guys are familiar with bigger. those. Um, here's one of those really cheap ones that usually everyone has. But let's yeah, see here. Let's actually show it. The, the, the difference in the ring size real quick between that because usually everyone has this there's yeah right there as you guys see the ring is just substantially you know not substantially but i mean but it you, is yeah, larger if you have gloves i mean yeah definitely i could definitely see you being able to have like a thicker pair of gloves like more like work gloves or security outside yeah, exactly winter Someone, gloves exactly yeah yeah, here's a, here's one that's full tank, also skeletonized, so it's just missing the scales. United Cutlery. So you guys see, it's a it's a nice cram, but I mean, there's yeah. budget options out there that are great too. So, mm -hmm. but uh, we figured we'd show that one. Uh, we're on that cram tip right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll do a quick cut test uh, with this paper real quick. Okay. Yeah, if you want to take that Ooh. camera. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Careful. Speaking of that, I got some tarot cards out here to be in your <laughs> Halloween. Um, yeah, I did. I already shuffled them. If you want to cut that real quick, I'll have her draw one. Here's the sheath that comes with that. It's like a plastic. I don't think it's a Kydex at all, but it's a plastic. Yeah, plastic sheath, pretty thin. It's weird. Is that this thing is flopping around, and I'm not sure if it's intentionally like that, or oh. if, uh, or if it's actually broken. But uh, anyway, it doesn't have a whole lot of holes, so it doesn't uh, have a lot to offer there um, as uh, options to carry. Here, hold this camera again. This is actually a card you want to have reversed. Oh, did you just draw that? Yeah. Oh, man, I didn't film you draw. I said cut it. But, uh, okay, as you see, it, it snaps in there. And there we go. So if That you belt clip seems a little janky, though. Yeah. If I mean, if you want to neck knife it, you could totally do that. I'm suspending it like this. Oh. Suspend it. It's not coming up. And actually, there's... 
A little bit around. You might hear our wind chimes in the back. <laughs> it's really windy. Nice, cool wind because it's fall here. So, you know, it's near Halloween. So, hence the uh, the tarot cards. And there it is. Nice snap on it. But, yeah. By Mantis. Another uh, another cram it for y'all. Cram it guys <laughs> out there. What'd you draw? Uh, the tower only reverse. The reverse tower. Yeah. Okay. So, I guess that's what this knife is going to represent for us. I don't know. We're going to have to Google that. Um, after this video. I know the upright tower is not a good thing. The upright, so maybe, the, yeah, this might, yeah, we'll the, see. I think the reverse is better on this card. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And uh, we, 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 we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.